So in this video, I'm going to provide you some instruction on 8.3. And in 8.3, we're graphing in the rectangular coordinate system. Um, objective A questions are going to deal with plotting points. Before we start to talk about plotting points, let me describe the rectangular coordinate system. We've already worked with graphing in this class. Um, we've already dealt with graphing with a number line. So if I draw a number line, we have 0 in the middle. positive numbers to the right, negative numbers to the left. Um, to graph on the number line, all I need is one piece of information because we're talking about one dimension, and one line is one dimension. So if I gave you something like this, x equals negative 3, you know to graph on the number line, all I have to do is come over here to negative 3 and put a dot for that point at negative 3. So one dimensional graph, the number line, we need one piece of information. Well, what we're going to do here in the rectangular coordinate system is add another dimension to the number line. So let me erase a couple things here. To add another dimension to the number line, all I'm going to do is take this number line now and put another dimension going up and down. Okay? So we're going to have the same number line. To add the second dimension. Now, the numbers on this extra number line are going to be the same, and it makes sense to put the positive ones up top and the negative ones down below. Okay, now that we're working in two dimensions, we're going to need two pieces of information to identify a point on this graph. So what we do is we write those two pieces of information in what's called an ordered pair. The reason it's called an ordered pair is because the order matters. Notice with this negative 2 and this positive 3, I could graph that two ways. I could go negative 2 and then 3, or I could go negative 2 and then 3 and end up at very different locations on the graph. So you can see with two dimensions, we need to kind of clarify this so we're being consistent and everybody knows what this point negative 2, 3 means. So what we do is we call this number line the x-axis. We call this number line the y-axis. And over here in our ordered pair, the order goes x first, y second. Always x first, y second. The reason is, it's alphabetical, x then y. Um, so to graph this point negative 2, 3, I'm going to start in the x direction, which means moving along this number line. So I'm going to go negative 2 in the x direction, and then a positive 3 in the y direction. So here's positive 3 in the y direction. And where these two meet is where I'll graph that point, negative 2, 3. And that's how you graph points on the rectangular coordinate system. So you can see here we're going to have questions like this. Is the ordered pair 3, 4 a solution to this equation 2x plus y equals 10? Now this is a little different than the equations that we've solved up till this point because all of our equations had a single type of variable. Maybe an equation would have x's in it or only y's, but not both an x and a y. So this is a little different. And again, the reason we're doing this is because we're working in two dimensions. With our ordered pair we have both an x value and a y value. So to determine whether this is a solution, all I have to do is plug these values into the equation. So just like before, I'm going to take this 2x plus y equals 10. I would write an open set of parentheses wherever I'm going to substitute a value for the variable. So notice here was my x, open set of parentheses. Here's my y, open set of parentheses. And these are the values I'm going to put into these parentheses. So for the x value, I'm putting a 3. For the y value, I'm putting a 4. Now all I have to do is check to see if this works. So I would go 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 6 plus 4 equals 10, or 10 equals 10. And check, it does work. So the ordered pair 3, 4 is a solution to this equation. So I would write, yes, it is a solution. In part C, we're going to go one step further. 
instead of just identifying whether an ordered pair is a solution, we're actually going to be finding some ordered pairs that are solutions to an equation. So in here an example, I have the equation y equals 2x. Again, I have two types of variables, both a y and an x. And notice down here, I have one of the numbers for my ordered pair, and I'm going to need to find the other number. So in this case, I have 3, and remember the first spot is always the x value, so 3 is going to go in for the x value to find this one. So I would write y equals 2, again, open set of parentheses when I substitute that 3 in for x. And now what I have to do is just figure out what y has to equal. Well, in this case, it's pretty simple. y is going to equal 6 when I multiply the 2 and 3 together. So that is my other value in this ordered pair solution. My next ordered pair solution, I'm going to be putting a 0 in, but in this case, for y, because remember ordered pair is always x then y, so in for y I'm putting a 0. So I would have 0 equals 2x. Now I need to solve this equation for x. Well, x is getting multiplied by 2. To undo that, I would divide both sides by 2. Okay, And on the, on the right side, the 2's divide out and leave me with x. On the left side, 0 divided by 2 is just 0. So the other solution, or the other part of this ordered pair solution, is the point 0. The last one, I'm going to put a negative 2 in. This is in the first place, so I'm putting it in for x. So I would write my equation, y equals 2 times negative 2. Again, a pretty easy one to, simp to, to solve. All I have to do is simplify the right side. 2 times negative 2 is going to give me negative 4. So there's my other value. So that's how you find an ordered pair solution. You plug one of the values into the equation and figure out what the other value needs to be.